It is so interesting because if you, when you describe the movie, you know, a a mother has abandoned her, her you know, her child uh, because uh, she doesn't accept their sexuality or, or identity. And then that child, you know, 20 years later, or whatever, ends up going back. And the mother doesn't know that this is the child. Uh, mm-hmm. She thinks that it's just a woman who has come into the house as a caregiver. If you describe that, like... It could be in the hands of different directors, you know, this insane, explosive family drama. It could be a crazy comedy. I was just saying to Julia, I sort of want five different directors to take a crack at this story with yeah. you in every movie. Like, I want to see, you know, the Andrea Paloro version, which we which we have, fortunately. But I also want to see the Pedro Almodovar version of, yeah. of this movie. I want to see the Douglas Sirk version of this movie. Not that that would be possible, but that is, you know, it's it's wow, what a fascinating story it is. And did it, you know, this relationship of a of a child and their mother, how much of that parallels or how closely does it parallel your own coming out with your family? So there's definitely parallels. I've had to navigate this a lot as I've done press for this movie because um, keep in mind, you know, I'm a child of the 80s, 90s, and the resources for parents back then were not the same. And so I come from an Italian Catholic family and... Um, I've had to learn how to protect my mom and all this because she and I are good now. And, and so it was challenging. It was extremely challenging and we had our, our tough moments, our tough years, but ultimately love won. And she did the work to figure out how to embrace and accept her child. It didn't happen overnight. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. And, um, you know, it was one of the hardest things I've ever had to go through in my life. But I do applaud her because not every parent has it in them to figure it out. 